What's up, fools? Welcome back. Today is September 23rd, 2017, so please keep that in mind if you're watching this video in the future, especially considering the pace of change is so rapid in the Wii U emulation scene right now. So today's video, we're going to walk you through how to set up The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for you to play on the PC platform. Please do check the video description for the links before posting comments and questions. So we're going to start out here by downloading the Wii U USB helper tool. So we're going to go to Google and just Google for Wii U USB downloader. And then when we find the GBA temp link there, we're going to go and select the uh, download. And then we're going to go to where we downloaded it and we're going to run the updater.exe program. And then here we're just going to check the box that we agree. We're going to pick USA as our region and we're going to click OK to this dialog. And then we're going to click allow access to the firewall. OK, then we're going to pick a directory where we want to store our downloaded games. We're going to go to dtemp and select that folder. And that's going to ask us for the URL for the Wii U title keys. So we're going to paste in this URL here. Click OK, and then the program will launch here, and we're going to say, no, we don't want tips for preventing Wii U from updating. OK, so this is what the Wii U USB helper program looks like. So what we're going to do is go to the little search bar and search for the keyword Zelda. And then when we find Breath of the Wild, we're just going to right click on Breath of the Wild, and we're going to select Download Games. So it says there's an update and some DLC. Do you want to download that too? We're going to click yes. Yes. Okay. And then we've got to click the start download button to start the download. Now I already have the game ripped from my DVD copy of the game. So if you don't have the game, you could just click start download and let it do a download. I've already got a copy of the game, so I'm going to abort the download. Now I'm just going to move all my ripped files into the directory that this program is looking so that it can then uh, decrypt and unpack those files for me so I don't have to re-download the 28 gigs of content there. We're going to go into Data, USA, Games, and then the folder it created for the download. And we're going to go in there and delete the files that it already downloaded. And then we're going to copy over the files that I ripped off my disk. Now, if you don't have a disk and you didn't rip it or you don't already have a copy, you obviously just don't do this. You're just going to let the program run and download all these files for you. Okay, once those files are done being copied or the download is completed, uh, we're going to go back here to Wii U USB Helper. And we're going to right click and select the option that says Unpack. Then we got to pick a directory we want to unpack, and I'm just picking the same directory. And then you're going to see this dialog appear in the center of your screen. Uh, and this will run for a while, but it's going to decrypt and unpack all those files. And once this is done, you could actually just click the button in this program that says Play Game, and it will go and download the CMU emulator for you. In my case, I'm not going to do that because I already have CMU set up. And it's got my controller and everything already set up the way that I want it in all my settings. So I'm not going to do that. But you can do that if you don't have CMU. You can just click play this game. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to go to where I have CMU installed. So I've got CMU 1.9.1. And I'm going to just going to run CMU. And at this point, I should be able to run the game. It's going to go file and load. And we're going to browse to the directory where we uh, downloaded that game to. And we're going to go to the code folder and pick the RPX file, and then it should load the game. Now, in this case, it will load the game uh, or start to load the game, but you're going to see here that it's, the game's going to stop itself from running and tell you that you have to use a patch. Cannot play this game without the latest patch. So at this point, we're going to close CMU, and we're going to go back to the USB helper, and we're going to pick the patch, which is the second option in that list. And then we're going to click the button that says Start Downloading. And then make sure you check this box that says Unpack here. Uh, you want to make sure that it decrypts and unpacks for you for the next thing you have to do when this is done. I've already got the patch, so I'm not going to download it. I'm going to copy the patch over. So that's what you're going to see here. 
Uh, once the patch is done downloading, then what you're going to want to do here is in two different explorers, you want to open up the game folder, the original one, and then you want to open up the update data. At the top is the update, the bottom one is the actual game, and then you just want to copy everything that's in the update folder into the original game folder. So in other words, you're going to lay the patch files on top of the original files. This is going to take a while because as you can see, there's something like 22,000 files. But uh, let this run, and then when this is done, you should have a patched game ready to play. So once the patch is done being copied, we're just going to go ahead and now run CMU again. So now we should no longer be getting the message from the game telling us that the game has to be patched in order to run. So we're going to load, load that RPX file again, and this time the game should actually start up. Okay, so the game loads this time, and now we can actually play the game. However, the frame rate is really bad, something like 1 frame to 20 frames. Uh, it's pretty much the best you're going to get in this case. So to actually make the game playable, we want to make a couple of minor tweaks. Um, and I'll give you a link. Check the link in the description below for some more technical details. Uh, but I'm on an NVIDIA GTX 1080. Um, so the steps I'm going to do are going are to help the frame rate a great deal. Okay, so now we're going to go to uh, Google and we're going to search for EMU hook and then when we find EMU hook we're going to go to the site and download the EMU hook. We want to make sure that we get the version that's for 181 through 191 and when the EMU hook is done downloading then what we're going to do is take the files inside that zip file and put them into our CMU directory, the root of wherever CMU is installed. So we're going to extract that, go into the CMU hook. We're going to copy all of these files from the CMU hook download folder into the uh, CMU folder right off the root there. So we see we're just going to grab these files from CMU hook and then copy them into our CMU directory. This is going to install a, a hack for us that lets the game run much smoother. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go into Game Profiles, and we're looking for a specific game profile here. So using Explorer, I'm just going to paste in the name of the profile that we're looking for. And then we're going to open up this file, and we're going to add that Disable GPU Fence Directive under Graphics. And then when we're done with this, we save it. Okay, uh, you, you now you're ready to play the game. Uh, you might want to reboot if you got a lot of processes going on just to free up all your memory and everything, but uh, long story short, you should now be able to load up the game, and the game should load, and the frame rate should be stable. Uh, you know, typically we're seeing in the menus, you know, 60 frames, and then during gameplay we're seeing, you know, pretty much a solid 30. Now this is all going to depend, obviously, on your configuration, and here I've got my capture software running, so the frame rate isn't great. But when I'm just running it normally, uh, particularly in full screen, it will give me a pretty much solid 30. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it's fairly simple. It works great uh, if you can get it going. Uh, the first time you go into new areas, it's going to be building this shader cache in the background. So when you hit new areas, you know, it will be dropping down in the 20s. Um, but but it, it is fairly stable once it um, you know gets all the cells loaded and gets all the cache and stuff like that built. So... Uh, keep that in mind that when you first get to a new area, you know, the game will be kind of sluggish, uh, but it will catch up. I mean, when you're in shrines and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty much 60. I mean, it's it's a great frame rate, but out in the open world or if you're going into a new area, then, you know, you're pretty much going to be in the 20s when you when you first start out. So hope this video was helpful. We'll talk to you guys later.